the day. From Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Colts taking on Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the Indianapolis Colts. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Out come the Rams and at the controls, the former Cal Bears standing at six foot four, quarterback Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, team went 1-11. His rookie year with the Rams, he was 0-7 as a starter. Undaunted in either case, and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. Now Goff on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Back to the air, Goff on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Throwing on third, Goff. The Colts are gonna get him, down he goes. In on the sack, the former Buckeye, Tyquan Lewis. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz, they're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Tremendous overall athlete, does everything that you're looking for big time in the quarterback run game against their better opponents, but can also operate skillfully from the pocket and can beat you with his mind as well. On first down, it's Watson. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst. Nice gain, too. 
And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, Hines, and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and I'd tackle him, because right now, they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. The quick slant caught, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Oh, from eight yards out, and the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 25 yards. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and 10. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. To throw again on second down. Golf. Open man. Higby, the tight end. Complete to Tyler Higby. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three at the 44-yard line. Again, golf. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. Rodrigo Blankenship. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount Here's his opportunity. Oh, comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there. Right? <laughs> yeah.